Well guys, we have an update from Department of Justice investigation for short selling. We know some of the targets and we know what is going to happen. Let's go over the details. So first of all, we have Department of Justice targets Anson funds for illegal short selling, fraud and insider trading. SEC is also involved guys. Look at this. Department of Justice is now targeting Anson funds in criminal investigation that centers on market manipulation, insider trading, spoofing and fraud as illegal short selling activities become for a prime focus far beyond the SEC with some expecting changes to come in the next few months. Guys, big changes are coming. So the current focus of investigation is over Anson funds, Citroen research led by Andrew Left that was involved in GameStop short squeeze guys, both are fully cooperating with the government's investigation. The question is what else DOJ investigate them for, right? These money managers, according to the Bloomberg's description of Department of Justice, are suspected of having sought to engineer startling stock drops and engage with insider trading. Toronto-based Anson funds for anonymous researcher Marcus Aurelius are among firms involved in the inquiry. But we all know, this is not just for these two firms. Reputable sources have confirmed that a number of short sellers, companies that have been impacted and multiple individuals have come forward and started cooperating with Department of Justice investigation. And here is the biggest of the biggest of the biggest news guys. Check on this. For unit holders of Anson funds, otherwise investors, right? This is devastating news. What it means ultimately is that any money Anson may have made in illegal schemes, it's liable for confiscation. That could put all Anson funds unit holders in jeopardy for gains made on illegal trading. Just think about this. All the short sellers that are found guilty in illegal short selling, all the money that they have made, millions, billions of dollars, that they were ready, if not already, distribute to the shareholders of these funds, could be confiscated. Guys, this is even worse than getting a margin call. Why? Getting a margin call, it's okay. I mean, you will find a way to pay out in some way, right? And it's okay, you keep, you keep doing business. But if you have this one, you have image ruin, you have capital ruin, and then you have confiscated assets from the government for illegal stock market activities. This is done, done, done forever. Look at this. If Anson made $300 million in profit illegally over the past three years, they could face a fine of $1.5 billion. And the confiscation of the $300 million in profits. Mind-blowing. You made $300 million, right? That you should return because they should be confiscated for the little illegal activities. On top of that, you will be fined a billion dollars. This is why, guys, this investigation is crazy. I believe this investigation will have a huge impact over short selling in general. And short selling in particular place like AMC and GameStop. Leave some love for the short sellers in the comment section. It's cold out there and <laughs> the investigation is still not finished. Subscribe to the channel, like this video and of course, come back for more.